I am Supriya Rath of class 10th and I reject NEP because it totally commercializes and privatizes our education system. I oppose NEP 2020 new education policy because this new education policy allowing 100% FDI foreign direct investment in education in India through this 100 foreign universities can set up their campus in India. This leads to commercialization of education. All the foreign university they will fix high fees. Once you all think how many Indian students, economically backward students, they can offer this education. If government willing to given a good education or foreign level education to Indian students, they can open 100 IITs, 100 IASCs, IMS. But this government not opening more government schools and colleges, but they are allowing foreign universities to make education to make business. So I reject NEP and I request all the students to rise voice against anti-students new education policy. All India Democratic Student Organization AIDSO strongly opposes the implementation of National Education Policy 2020 because we feel it is a direct attack on autonomy of education. It is an attack on democratic concepts of education. Friends, until now, different autonomous bodies like AICT, UGC or even MCI used to govern different aspects of education. Now, NEP wants to scrap off all those autonomous body and they want to bring it in one common umbrella that is one regulatory body, one centralized body. Here we condemn this centralization of education, we oppose the centralization of education. I oppose NEP policy because in the policy the government says that they are going to alert 6% of the GDP for the education but in reality if we analyze in detail the GDP, which is the total uh, outcome of an year uh, from the central government, state government and even from the private sectors. So, where if the government allot through this mechanism by allotting from GDP, the contribution of the central government for the education will be very minimal. So, here we are opposing this mechanism and we are demanding from AIDSO Students Organization as we the people are the taxpayers and majority of the income that the government receives is through indirect tax and around 65% is been, has been collected by the common people. So the government should view in this angle and they should allot minimum of 10% from the center and 30% from the state is our main demand. So in this focus, we are uh, opposing the budget allocation format and we are demanding to allot more money through this format by allotting 10% and 30% through center and state. Zindabad, 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 Zindab